Um, um, this one is about um, a girl with polio and it's about disability. Um, um, if you wouldn't mind it, we've got a nice surprise around the book so people can see at the same time because they haven't really bought that many slides. Um, but um, basically it's about a girl with um, a peg leg but she has a key leg. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about this, this book and how it works um, in a second but it's a really interesting book about um, difference and about being an outsider. Um, and the third book, which Nadine will talk a bit more, um, is um, a sort of a death Rapunzel. It's Rapunzel in a tower. Um, so there were um, various different issues that I um, encountered. The only other one was about someone who um, lost their hair um, because of disease. So that was also another interesting one. Um, um, but yeah, so talking about the challenges that I encountered. I think um, we will introduce them and then go on to the challenges. Oh, yeah, okay. So we'll yeah, talk yeah, more about this yeah. one then. Um, so the okay. challenges will be on there. Yeah, um, so this one really, um, what's unusual about it, well there's various things that are unusual and I think exciting about it. Um, um, there's actually two stories in one about the same character um, and it's a sort of a, a gender bender, or a, a, a sort of cross uh, genre bender, let's say. <laughs> um, it's sort of cross genres in a way which might be kind of challenging or unusual for um, English books because um, it's actually, I mean I think it's about um, a, 10 or 11 year old girl and so that I think would appeal to a younger age but but it's quite a sophisticated sort of theme even though it's very simple simple so sort of deceptively simple language um, so uh, what happens in the first story is um, a new girl arrives at school she looks different and it's told from the perspective of a girl we don't know we don't find out her name but she's Basically, she's staring at this girl. She's intrigued by her. She doesn't understand her. And so the book, with all the images, of lots of images of eyes and of straight lines and of and sort of there's lots of staring going on. She look, watches and watches this girl. She watches when she um, she watches when she trips over. She watches when she um, cries. She watches when she laughs. But she can't overcome this distance to actually go and talk to her. And then as we go, the book comes, comes along. It's actually the the disabled girl and the girl with the um, the key leg. Um, who actually overcomes this distance and, and talks to her. They, they make a, strike up a friendship over talking about her dress and her, her buttons. And then the images sort of turn into this sort of swirly, twirly, much more joyful and ornate sort of style.